So far, we have covered most of the major meterpreter commands. You must have noticed how powerful a meterpreter can be during the post exploitation phase. In this video, we'll be covering another interesting meterpreter concept which is called pivoting. Let us first understand what exactly pivoting means. Pivoting refers to the method used by penetration testers that uses a compromised system to attack other systems on the same network. This is a multi layered attack in which we can access even those areas of network which are only available for local or internal use. If you consider the scenario shown here in this diagram, the attacker can compromise the outside nodes that are connected to the internet. These nodes are then connected to the firewall. Behind this firewall, there is the main server. The attacker does not have a direct access to the server, hence, he can use these compromised systems in order to access the internal server because those compromised systems are directly connected to this particular internal server. This is a typical scenario of pivoting. Now, the first question that arises here is what is the difference between pivoting and port forwarding? If you remember, in port forwarding, we said that we can only access the internal servers using the compromised system. But, if we also have to attack those systems, we'll be using the concept of pivoting. This is the only major difference between the two concepts. To implement pivoting, let's go to our meterpreter session. Here we have an active meterpreter session with our target machine. Let us run an IP config to figure out what are the different networks to which the standard machine is connected. Here, you can see that it's connected to a LAN having the IP range of 192.168.56.102. Furthermore, it's also connected to another local area network with the IP range of 10. 0315. This IP address looks interesting to us. What we can do here is that we can do a quick ARP scan on this IP range to figure out what other machines are live on this network address or network range. In order to run an ARP scan, we'll be using a Metasploit module called ARP Scanner. We've now done a complete ARP scan. You can see that the scanner's figured out some live hosts in, in this network range. The IPs are 2, 3, 4, and 15. After the scan is complete, we have figured out some live hosts. These IP addresses are not directly accessible to us. But since we have the hold of our target machine, we can use the concept of pivoting in order to attack these machines as well. In order to make an indirect communication with these machines, we'll have to modify the routing table of our target machine. We discussed about the root command in our previous video. Let us implement it here once again. Now let's push our meterpreter session to, to the background zone. Now, let us add information and let us try and connect to 10032 machine. So, the route has been added and an indirect communication is established. Now, you can run quick nmap scans. Or try to figure out what types of operating system is running on the machine. Or we can see if we can launch any client side exploits or not. We've already discussed these techniques in our previous sections. So this was a quick demonstration implementing pivoting using Meterpreter.